Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to explore how to use publishings to make transitioning from machine to machine more seamless and more effortless. In the world of manufacturing, you may start programming a machine uh, for part A. In this case, we are programming uh, the Haas uh, BF2. Okay, but maybe for some reason the Haas VF2 is still running some production, isn't available, so you have to do a machine change. You're going to put this on a different machine that has capacity to take on this part right now. And sometimes this can be a challenge depending on the CAM software you use. Thankfully in Top Solid, it's pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to come in down here to the bottom where it shows the name of my machine, or again, you can go to the equipment, select a machine up here, or the pull down menu. As you know, in Top Solid, there is at least three ways to do the same thing depending on how you like to work, pick what makes you happy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select a machine. This is gonna pull up a list and I'm gonna look for my Doosan because I know my Doosan's available. So boom, I'm gonna select this and pay attention to what happens. Notice it loads the Doosan, but notice now my vise is rotated 90 degrees because that's how I have that loaded on my Doosan traditionally, okay? My toolpath's dirty, I regen, this is now ready to post-process for the Doosan. You know what, maybe the Doosan's not available. Let's do this again and let's maybe switch it to our DMC. Our 60T is available. It's a bit overkill for this uh, little dink part, but you'll get the point. This is gonna pop it onto the DNC correctly and I'm gonna rebuild. And now this is ready to post-process. Just like that, okay? Notice no rebuild issues, no extra steps, no nothing. Now. The question is, how does this work? Well, let's have a look. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the beginning here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my references here because I wanna find the machine definition being used here. Now, if you're not used to modifying machine definitions, ask your reseller to help you with this or your top solid partner. But I'm just gonna go here to advanced, go find machine, hit apply, refresh. This is the machine def in question. I'm gonna show that in my project tree. Now, from here, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna have a look at a few things. Primarily, I'm gonna look at the publishings. And you'll notice here that I have a table frame and I have a vice frame. And I'm gonna edit my vice frame. A publishing, if you're not aware, is just a way to identify a specific entity that will be available in the next inclusion in a top solid assembly. That's kind of a, a big mouthful to understand. Basically what it means is this. Take this frame for example. I'm saying my frame, I'm gonna call it vice frame, give it a description of vice frame too, that's fine. And I'm gonna say that this vice frame is going to be used for positioning always okay and by naming this vice frame I can now use that positioning through some basic automation and I say automation because it is automation but it's not automation you have to create so let's look at another machine okay I'm gonna go to my demo machines here and I'll go to my Doosan and my DNM I'm gonna open that one and notice here I have another frame Go to my publishings. We have a table frame and a vice frame. And again, it's called vice frame. If you name these frames all the same, then when you go to do a machine depth change, when the software is rebuilding, it's going to look to see if there's another frame with the name vice frame. And no, I didn't mean all of this to rhyme. <laughs> That's just a fun side effect. Now, at the end of the day, I even went as far as doing the same thing in my vice. Now let me show you. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. I'll close this for now. Get rid of that. And I'm gonna make a new, uh, new machining document, okay? And I'm just gonna choose my VF2 template here. That's fine. But to illustrate the point further, I'm going to delete my vice 
gonna hide the enclosure so we can see better. And then I'm gonna load my vise. And here I'll just use safe searches. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of using safe searches. And here is my vise. If I show that in my project tree really quick and I open that up, and again, we look at its entities, you're gonna see again, a publishing of vice frame using the same names. Okay, so now let's put this all together for you. All I'm gonna do is take my search results here, my vice, drag and drop it in to a new positioning. I'm gonna go specifically this frame, notice it says vice frame, to this frame. That also said vice frame. And just to show you, I'll edit this. So it's using the publishings. Okay. And I'm going to validate and say it's part of the table. That's great. I can then go ahead and add my part to machine. Perfect. And I'm just going to do this quickly and I'm going to add that into position in group three. And we'll go ahead and drop this on our vice. And you can automate this even further with some creativity. You can make it so the vice jaws will close automatically on the part and just see it. There's all sorts of fun things you can do. But the big thing I want you guys to understand here is the use of proper publishings. If I go and make a tool path here, and we're just going to make one or two just so that we have something to rebuild. All right, let's go pick ourselves a cutter real quick. Oh, let's make sure I'm grabbing it from the right place. Love it. Okay, we have some tool path. I don't really care about the tool path. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some operations on here just so we have something to regen. Okay, so now let's go do that same changeover. And again, in order for this to work right, your other machines have to have published frames with the same name. So again, if I go look for my deuce on, Boom. Like that, you now understand how to use publishings. So publishings are a great way to save on rebuild issues in a parametric system. It's just making sure that when the software is rehooking things, it knows what it's rehooking to. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day.